Cindy Ovarez is 28 years old. After high school, she served four years in the U.S. Navy and was one term paper away from graduating college when she got the news. She has cervical cancer. I don't know that it's quite sunk in yet. <laughs> it's just been a lot like to take in all at once. My problem, though, was where am I going to stay? Her home is in San Francisco, but doctors wanted her cancer surgery to happen here in New York City. So this has been her temporary home away from home. From the moment I walked in into the lobby, I was taken aback by how amazing it was. There was a waterfall and a Christmas tree, and it was so welcoming and inviting and I just couldn't believe I was lucky enough to stay in a place like this. This place is called the Hope Lodge of New York City. It's one of 29 Hope Lodges across the country. Built and operated by the American Cancer Society, they're designed to give out-of-town cancer patients and their caregivers a free place to stay during their treatment. The goal is that no one should have to forego the treatment they need for their cancer because they can't afford to stay in New York City. We have 60 rooms, completely free of charge, and aside from just lodging, we also offer complete emotional um, support. Martin Pons is from Miami, and he agreed to show us his room here. Who does the cooking? Uh, my wife, Arlene, does the cooking. They've been staying for three months while Martin is undergoing treatment for lymphoma. It's great. As you can see, it's a spacious room. We have nice uh, flat screen TVs, DVD players. Martin is an attorney, but was forced to close his practice to get treatment, which meant no income. Economically, if I didn't have the Hope Lodge, I, I don't know how I would have managed this. Since it opened in 2007, the New York City Hope Lodge has already served over 3,000 patients and their caregivers from around the world. I don't have any words on <laughs> how to thank the American Cancer Society. Without a place like the Hope Lodge, I, I don't know what I would have done. Thanks just does not suffice.